D, Rob Sestrino, congratulations on your amazing win here in oh. Survivor 45. I'm uh, thrilled for you, and this was such a fun season to watch. It was a lot of fun. I really appreciate that, that you said that. It it was a great cast. It's a great cast. I feel like the cast makes the season. Stop. We're not. We're here to talk about you, D. Okay. <laughs> and, and let's talk. Let's talk about you because okay. I mean, what hasn't been said already about your win? Of uh, I think that you are just such a complete player. Uh, there's been uh, so much praise that's been uh, sent your way, uh, and deservedly so. Was that surprising for you to have to see this reaction to uh, this game that you played in this season when you came home? Um, yeah, I was very surprised. I'm like getting emotional because like I've read so many things that I'm like, this is all I've wanted. Like all I wanted was to like inspire people and like just do a good job and represent Survivor well, you know, um, it did surprise me. Like I knew I played a good game. I knew it and I felt it. It didn't solidify until like the Emily vote. Right. That's when I knew like oh my God, like I can freaking do this for real. Um, but it, it has surprised me, to be honest. It it feels really good. It feels really good to hear people say that they're proud because that's all you really want, right? Like having people be proud of the season and the winner. So it, it has been shocking. I'm still in shock. I feel like I'm still in Fiji right now. Okay, so I really, I felt very good going into that final travel council. But then I started to see three votes for Austin and I got scared for a second. Did you think as the votes were coming up that maybe Austin pulled it out? Um. So here's the thing. Those votes were read in a different way than they were read in person. So okay. in person, I, I think in the show it was D first, right? Um, I have to go back and check I have to go my back. notes. I yeah. remember when the votes were being read, there's a moment that I'm like trying to count because I'm like, oh my God, this might be a tie. Like this might be. But the moment that like Jeff paused, I was like, all right, that's it. That winner, that's that that was mine. That was mine. Um, I knew it would be hard going up against him. I knew it, but I, I felt really confident. I did because I, I knew that I had like silence was my power and I knew I was going to use that and I was going to go full force at whoever was sitting next yeah. to me. What do you yeah. mean silence is your power? I I feel like I, you know, keeping that information, the whole Emily blind uh, side, yes. keeping that information private until final tribal, like that may have been my winning move, to be honest, because he played such a great dominant game too. And like, it goes to show you he didn't even have one vote against him right so i i was nervous going up against him but i knew i was going to give him my all and but i was still confident that no matter who i would sit next to i was gonna fight <laughs> you had some incredible moments at the final travel council uh including when you revealed about how you did actually tell julie uh going into uh that vote where emily went home and it was almost like, you know, we've seen other players like pull out like, oh, I, here's an advantage I didn't use. Here's this other thing that I didn't use. Is that how you were looking at that secret? Yes, a thousand percent. I also did not want to lead tribal with that. It did happen a little bit earlier, um, but I was waiting for Austin to bring it up first so that I can like, hey, let me push back on what you just said. Um, and then for me, like another thing that I talked about was the fact that like I, I knew all the information in the game at all times. And I, I was... I gave Austin this clue to the idol, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like this, this is because of me. Right. So it was, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> There's a moment also in the final travel council, which was hilarious when you said to Bruce, uh, Bruce, you should have played your idol. Was there any sort of lead up to that? Or is it, it, so, it seemed like, <laughs> no. I, I don't, I'm trying to think like what possessed me to say that. Um, obviously I was playing with fire. I should not have said that, but I feel like, you know, what happened, uh, Rob, I feel like my real D came out in the real world. Like real D does not hold back. And like, if you're my friend, I will yeah. tell you the truth, whether you like it or not, if you ask me. And I feel like in that moment, I just told Bruce, like you should have played it, which I should have done that. Cause I'm still in final tribal council Yeah, and you saw the vote. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, um, uh, <laughs> but you you didn't need it. Uh, it was a great moment. Yeah, thank um, God. See, I, I want to ask you about the final five because this was a, a wild vote, and I would love to know from you, like, what did you want to have happened there? I wanted Katora gone. I was a hundred percent in going to the end with Austin and Julie. A hundred percent. I did not know that Jake was gonna use his idol on Katora. I did not know that. I thought he was going to use it on himself because he had had like such a, you know, rough patch 
Um, and I was voting for Katora and I was going for her. And I also didn't know that Julie was going to vote Jake. Like, yeah. Like the craziest tribal. I'm still shocked about it. Because I thought that maybe you might have wanted Julie to go home there in that spot. In that tribal, it was not shown. But I started crying. Like, you saw me crying, but I was crying way before that. I started crying. And, of course, Jeff is going to drill me and see where that those tears are coming from. And when I didn't answer a question, he's like, where is it coming from, D? And I go, Jeff, I just know who's going home. And I had, like, tears falling down my face. And it was because Julie was going home because I, in my head, she was going home. Right. Um, so no, I was, I wanted to bring her like as much as I could save her. I wanted to do that. Cause that's my number one, like one of your number ones, one of my number ones. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, but what would happen if Julie was in the final tribal council? Cause I felt, I mean, Austin got three votes. I feel like that is, is Julie pulling any of your votes away? I believe so. It would have been extremely hard for Judy sitting next to me because the jury was obsessed with Judy as they should be. And I feel like it wasn't shown a lot of her strategic moves and all the conversations she had. Everyone in that jury loved her, loved her. And and you also got to think like the age comes into play. Like you want to give a million dollars, you know, you want to give it to a 26 year old or like a 40 something year old, right? Like I have more time to build, you know, and Julie has had like such a rough path, right? And so if I was in the jury, I would want to give the million to Julie, but you know, I still would have given it my all. And I knew, I, I knew that I saved her with the Emily blind side. So at least I had that to like show against her if I was sitting mm -hmm. next to her, but it would have been hard. I think I would have been a lot weaker if she was sitting next to me. I wouldn't have been able to go as hard as I did with Jake and Austin because they're men. So I'm like, I allowed myself to like unleash, but with Julie, it would have Oh my God. I don't know. I would have probably started crying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then in the final four, you win the immunity. Uh, great job there. And then um, did it even like uh, occur to you a little bit to try to make a fire or you didn't oh. even want? Yeah. No, no, I'm not going into fire. Like, no, I did. I so love much. that. I, I love that. You just you like I, uh, take, take it completely out of the equation. Oh, like fire what just to show you no 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 I was very confident in my social game with the jury like I knew the jury likes me and I knew that I I'm confident in my ability to persuade them to my side even if I didn't do the fire because there was a lot of game that the jury didn't know that they were going to be shocked about right um and also like I was not going to put Austin in the fire either because then he's going to have something on his resume. So yeah, it did not occur to me to go to fire. No, like I didn't need another thing on my resume. <laughs> How close though, did you come that Austin comes back and says, Oh, I don't know. I don't know if Jake's got it. Did you ever consider like, okay, maybe I should just put Austin into this? No, never. <laughs> and I feel like I thought it was obvious because we were like laughing about it. He was like trying to convince me, but it wasn't even convincing because he knew I would never do it. He was just like laughing. We were laughing about it. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It never occurred to me, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what do you feel like was the biggest moment for you in terms of getting to this point at the end of the game? Um, as far as like moves or what do you mean? Yeah. So you're in terms of your, your game that you played. Um, I would say very early on being extremely intuitive and always knowing what was happening in the OG Reba camp. Like anytime I sent something, it was freaking happening. Um, and then finding the clue to the hit to the idol that solidified a lot, like giving it back to that solidified the Alliance. Um, and then my biggest, biggest was definitely the Emily blind side because it was only, I, I drove that. And the only two people that know about it were me and Judy in a game full of people right and that's hard to do it's hard to get back in line and, um and have to you know like be freaking awkward like insane that that was definitely the i think the biggest move because if emily was sitting at that final tribal she was gonna win the game okay i want to go back to earlier in the game can you tell us uh what happened on the vote where uh sifu uh that with sean and your vote there yeah so here's the thing rob Everything we, the whole Sean thing happened at tribal. We didn't know anything. So all of this was live. We were blindsided ourselves, but here's the thing going into tribal. We decided Sifu, no matter what Sifu, you never change your votes at tribal. Sifu, Sifu, Sifu. He's the one that we got to get out. And so Sean gave his speech and they switched their votes. So it was only one Sifu. So it was like, you know, as a person, love you, Sean, as a person, but as a player, that's none of my business. Like, I'm here playing the game. If we had, we already talked about Sifu going home. 
And then, okay, worst case, he wants to quit. Now it's four. He wants to quit. Leave tomorrow. It leaves us with me, Jay, and Julie. And then we knew what tribe swap was coming. We always anticipated anything. And even if we had another um, challenge that we lose, Jay is gone. Julie and I are here. We merge. Everything was everything was set up, right? Everything was fine. So, yeah, that was very frustrating. But that's Survivor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it made um, for some funny memes, so it's fine. It, it did. <laughs> what, were, was your vote intentional? Was it an intentional misspelling? What do you mean? No, uh, no, no, no. I wrote Sifu. It went viral. The STFU went viral. Somebody <laughs> edited that. I don't even know who oh, did that. I, you who wrote did it. That? I thought you wrote it that way. <laughs> no, I wish. Like, literally, if I go back to play again, I am doing this. Like, I wish I would have wrote Shut the Fuck Up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what was the reaction from your family? We heard so much about uh, how you were doing it uh, for them and then to get this win. Um, what was the reaction from them? Well, I actually lied to them. So coming back from Fiji, you know, you go to Fiji, LA and Miami. As soon as I got my phone in LA, I texted my family group chat and I said, hey, mom, dad, I didn't win, but I had the best time of my life. So I stayed shut on that red eye flight. I couldn't even sleep for those like six hours. Land at the airport. My brother and my parents are there waiting for me. And then I told my brother, hey, can the producers want a video of me coming home? which is another lie. So he caught it on video. And then like, I put my parents like next to me and I was like, you guys can retire now. And they're like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, yeah, I still got to pay taxes, but you know, I, you guys can retire. Like we're, we're going to make this work. And they're like, and then I said, like, I won. And they were just starting to cry. They're like, no, you didn't. You told us you didn't win. I was like, yeah, I lied. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. Cause you know, you saw it in the game, like everything I did, I did it with my family in mind, like every single thing I did. And I still do. And I will always do for the rest of my life. Um, but yeah, a lot of tears last night were shed. Um, but it feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Like I can finally talk about it, you know? So uh, they're very proud of me and I'm proud of myself and I love them so much. And I know they're proud. And now I got to go back and translate the whole episode. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. do you do that every week? Yes, every damn freaking episode because I reached out to CBS. I'm like, can you guys please put subtitles in this thing? They're like, no. Nah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. yeah. What was the reaction um, from your mom that when you swore on her life? She loved it. They loved it. Oh my God. You know, there were, I, like I said, they're going to be at home waiting for me, waiting for me to bring the money. She's not going to care now that she doesn't have to work as hard. Right. Yeah. Um, no, it was, it was really funny. They, they don't care. They, they're my family and I like we're best friends. We roast each other. Like I saw the pictures. Uh, uh, very funny. Um, now, okay, D. Um, can you give us any updates on <laughs> your relationships with with uh, you know certain members of the cast? Oh, okay. Well, I would love to. Certain obviously. finalists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to, but we did decide to keep it private for now. Okay. It's, it's a lot of emotions in the way and it's getting heavier too with all of this craziness happening got it okay uh, what else about your game do you feel like that you want the listeners to know that they might not have seen in the show this season i feel like i'm very proud of myself for not only being intuitive i feel like that's natural um, but also like, I feel like I was multidimensional. Like I I'm kind by nature and as, as you might not see it on TV, but I'm very kind. I would never like try to upset someone or, or go about it in different ways. Um, but I, you know, I know when to be cutthroat and I know when to make decisions quickly and, and how, right. How to make them. Um, I think that that was big in my game. Cause there were a lot of comments that I read that I'm like, man, people really think I'm arrogant. Like that's insane. Like I never thought that about myself ever. <laughs> Well, I, I just want to clear it's confidence. It's not arrogance. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud because it had, I not been like that cutthroat, I wouldn't have the freaking money now. So yeah. Me like <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, the, uh, it was such a great job in all the different facets of the game. And I'm really, really happy for you and your win. And, uh, so nice, uh, to get the chance to talk to you. Hope we can talk some more. Yes, we definitely will. You oh, made man. also such a big impression on um, uh, my wife, uh, who is not easily impressed with these uh, survivors, but oh, you were uh, such a, a huge, you made a huge fan out of her too. I love that. That makes me so happy. That fulfills me. Thank okay. you. Okay.
D. Oh my God, I want to meet her. <laughs> okay, one day. Okay, congratulations again Thank and uh, have fun uh, the rest of today. Oh, I appreciate you. We'll talk soon, okay? Okay, D. All right, take Happy care. Talk soon. You too. Bye.